Look, I'm not a racist, but I am a classist. You know, we see all these decks that are mixing neutral cards with class cards, and it's unnatural. That's why I have created a deck that only uses Paladin cards. Take advantage of Lightforge Zealot and Lightforge Crusader, two fellow individuals who don't like neutral cards and want to keep them out of our decks. Let's see how this deck performs. Ha! <laughs> this guy's toast. Okay, our first opponent is a rogue. Most likely Death Rattle Rogue. Crystology is great. Uh, Brazen Zealot kind of just dies to any 1-1, one, one, and they have a bunch of 1-1s, one, right? Doesn't seem worth it to play Brazen Zealot. Also just dies to Hero Power, so I won't uh, keep it. I prefer Glowtrons, probably a little more powerful. Two Crystologies, our draw is pretty good. We just need to stick some minions on the board now. Feral Cat, oh no Feral Cat. Mm, Brazen Zealot, he Hero Powers and she dies. Does not seem worth it. So we'll take it slow. We're mostly aggro, but we're not like mindless aggro, jam a whole hand on the board kind of aggro, you know? That kind of aggro is too aggro. You gotta, you gotta be big brain aggro, you know? Uh, probably just hero power here. Nothing oh, extraordinary. The Life Forge Zelda just dies to a straight up backstab, which isn't very good for us. See, hero power comes out. Friend decide if I want to keep the coin. I can do this, coin this. Skyclaw, the other max. Okay, this play is pretty good if I can combo all of this. This one survives because it has Reborn, and this one will give this plus one attack. I don't think they run Fan of Knives in this list. So I have a three curve here, and then a turn four play here or here. Ah, this guy's toast. Ooh, Tempo SI Agent. That's gotta feel bad. We have to trade. We are the more aggro person, right? If I don't trade, what he, can he do? He can trade this in and he will power it. But then he leaves this up, right? If I trade this in, he doesn't get the value trade. And this hero power is, I think, the right place to trade it in. Else it trades too much value, I feel like. That's a great buff. Anything else she could have just stabbed. Backstab's fine, because it just means he's not backstabbing my 4-2. Uh, two SI7 agents. He topped like the backstab, which is why he couldn't activate last turn. Ooh, wow. He's gonna get a lackey off that, that's fine. Getting the sword here is really good. I hope he doesn't have the Kobo damage lackey. That would be worst case scenario. Because it just kills my 4-2 for free straight up. Gonna try and pile on the pressure a little bit. Desperate measure, random secret. Could be anything. Uh, I have two one drops left in my deck, and it's the Kobo Lucky. That's really unlucky. But what can you do? RNG, gonna RNG! Wow, with the Van Cleef as well. This guy's RNG is insane. Also, I drew my only one drop. One of my two one drop, now Crystology is bad, right? Oh, no, 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 no. This will still work with stuff like Skyclaw. It's one attack, not one cost. Sorry, I can't read. Me mom never taught me how to read. Seems like a fine Consecration turn. Who are we hitting today? Gets another Lackey. Hope it's not Taunt, Rush, or Damage. Damage is obviously the worst one. Got that one Kobo Lackey. Might change the course of this game. Oh wow, this might be Galakrons. It's kind of scary, but also kind of good. If I play Crystology, I can draw Skyclaw, Kangor, Glowtron. Got a couple of options. I prefer like having immediate damage though. Like th things that will immediately impact the board. Repentance. Yee Who are we hitting today? Yee Repentance? I don't know about that, Chief. 
He could Galakron, gain 5 armor, draw a whole... Oh, wow, he saved that to trigger my repentance. What a god. Like, rogues don't have healing, they just have removals. That's a big brain. We're looking for a Pharaoh's Blessing and Life Forge Crusader now. Anything to stick some minions on the board. Four damage off Letho. Prep has been nerfed, so he can't play that for free. Oh god, I was really hoping for something better. Hidden Wisdom's actually good against him. Repentance again, damn it. Oh wait, that's the magnetic. Oh, I missed one damage. Uh, I forgot Glutron's magnetic. I thought it was just a one mana one three mech. I missed out on one damage to the face, and it might matter. This is good for us because it really um, allows him to play multiple cards, which trigger his hidden wisdom. Missed one damage. Oops, a daisy. Wow, lock the flank. Oh, he's got to play one more card at the bare minimum. Right. Green mix red mean no death. Mechanical well. Wait, that's bad. Ah, oh, he hit a flick sky shiv as well. God. Hard game. Real hard game. Oh, this combo though. Sound um shrink ray into consecration. Oh, that one damage I missed is gonna cost me lethal. I can't I don't believe it. I'm actually gonna miss lethal because of one damage. If he hero powers and then trades in, it's really good. Ah, I deserve to lose, man. Such a rookie mistake. Such a rookie mistake. Yeah, I would have lethal right now. I need to do this and hope I top deck Silver Sword or my Life Lord Crusader. One damage. One damage. What's the difference? One damage matters. One damage matters. Many options. He has six damage. Is that the one eviscerate, huh? Six. He hasn't used any eviscerates, which is the main concern. Doing this to play against the eviscerate. That's a lackey. Okay, now my even even my direct attack won't be able to do anymore, huh? <sighs> I'm so close to killing him. You want to buff this out of um, the trade range here. And then you play one drop and hopes one of them sticks. And you pray to god he doesn't draw Galakrond. <sighs> this is nice because it actually can't get backstabbed or sealed fated. 
And he has double eviscerate. Oh, that's so good. <sighs> oh my god. Okay, look. I know I messed up missing one damage and made this game much, 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 much harder than it needs to be. But racism prevails. <laughs> warrior. There's Galakron Warrior and then there's Pirate Warrior. Both of them are looking to punch you in the face a lot. Glowtron's pretty good, but you kind of want to start on turn one if you have Glowtron. You can have all three cards, that's a Monka S. Okay, it might be Galakrond. He's gonna get some value out of this guy. That's kind of annoying. Could have played this on one, but I could coin this out, but that doesn't feel great either. Hopefully I draw something more playable. I thought I would hit like at least a one drop. Yeah, not much for him to do. Uh, Converting stored energy. This is fine ish, kinda, maybe. I wonder if it's super control Galakron Warrior. Uh, this feels like the more aggressive version of Galakron Warrior. We can play the slow game. I mean, it's really annoying that um, he can get double armor here. Like trade, trade, and kill one. Sets up for a, an okay consecration. We gotta treat ourselves as the control deck in my opinion. He's gonna have big Scion of Ruins though. 7 attack, 6 health, Scion of Ruins. Hmm. But we have Life Forge Procedure. We could hit some really controlled cards in college. Hey, over to the fat lady soon. Wow, uh, double Life Forge and uh, Crusader. We'll take those. He's gonna have a crap ton of armor. There's nothing we can do. I don't wanna play Consecration, it feels so slow. I right, Consecration, I get to keep a 1 1 on the board. Yippee. Yippee! I don't mind coining Life Forge Crusader. We gotta get some really nice random cards. I will act as your skill. It's fine. This is a great blessing of King. Okay, not great, but not the worst blessing of King. I was hoping for a Divine Shield on Get Down, but... Random is as random does. He could turn 6 Kronks. His Galakron's upgraded already by 1. If his Scion of Ruin never hit anything good, it's also great for us. Like, if he, if he doesn't Galakron to Scion of Ruin, we'll be okay. That's good. He's checking for um, Get Down and... He should have checked for Divine Shield first. What if that was Divine Shield? That's a straight up mistake, right? Is the Divine Shield card still in standard? Hmm. I'm gonna overdraw if I coin this out right now. Who are we hitting Let's today? spend our cards. Not on my watch. Noble Sack is great here, just because it protects her. Also, we'll summon another minion. He has that Galakron Awakened card that deals 1 damage AoE, but he still needs to punch this. Empties my hand for a decent Life Forge Crusader turn. Ideally, we get a 1 drop so we can coin it out and play it without overdrawing. Um, he'll also run his Leroy Burst combo. This guy is playing so weird. I guess he doesn't want to pop the shield. Or he's just does an auto player on Paladin Secrets. But he's ranked 6 with a Legend card back. Oh, he's got Warpath? Oh, he is exactly one health away from killing that Brazen Zealot. And this guy, too. This is a super control version. I've never seen Warpath in Galakron Warrior. The fact that he doesn't kill this is insane. It adds so much pressure to his next turn. Oh, 
impurity will not be tolerated. No one drop. I might just have to waste the coin here. Kangor's endless arm is useless. Actually, no, no, wait, I have this. Never mind. This is my Pretty nice, pretty nice. That health uh, secret ended up being so clutch. Keeps a six attack minion alive. Kangor's endless army. We have dead max. They're just one ones. <laughs> what now? They're just not the max you would like. Yeah. She could potentially provide a lot of damage, but remember, he gained so much armor from having double. And that's one sign of ruin down. He's low on cards. He needs to draw Galakron or Kronk, so he has two options there. Today. Divine I just divine shield the bridge and sell it again. Man, this card is so annoying. He used one awaken and one warpath. If he has Kronks or Galakron, it's really bad. He's kind of low on cards right now, and he used the Scion and a warpath, so his uh, battle Rage Super Draw move, like Battle Rage Draw for Cards move, is really hard to come by. He's down one sign and, one da and down one Warpath. What now? He'll mostly have Invokers, I imagine. I just need to keep the pressure up. Although with cards like this, this, and this, it's really hard to keep the pressure. This summons 3, 1, 1 max. Oh, his Galakron's fully upgraded now. This most likely will hit a one cost. Mathematically? No, mathematically it's just gonna hit a two cost. <sighs> He's low on cards, but like I said, the world's biggest Galakron will win him the game. I don't mind trading that in straight up, right? Well mill one card, but I think it's fine just to get a seven seven on the board. Impurity will not be This is my responsibility. Shrink Ray Consecration could empty his side of the board. We'll mill something as long as it's not anything too good. Uh, find that cycle. Ooh, man. This game just comes down to whether or not he draws Kronks or Galakron within the next few cards. I will act as your skill. That simple. Please don't be one cost. Please don't be one. Please don't be one. Please don't be one. <sighs> I'm so unlucky. Hello? Hello? You disgust! Hello? Hello? Let me light the way. 50 50 to buff this, right? Oh, I'm so unlucky! <laughs> oh, I'm so unlucky! <laughs> okay, so he's gonna Galakron and draw three units. And if he draws Sign of Ruin, like, my well, life is essentially ended. So you have to assume he's not drawing a Sign of Ruin. He's gonna have a five attack weapon. You disgust me. I feel this is the best play, it's just the one. Oh, that's not bad. He has—he's forced to punch this. So he's gonna play Galakron here, 
And if he draws Sign of Ruin with his Galakron, then it's kind of over. He's going for a board clear, not Galakron? Trying to be more aggro, right? Yeah, I should hit. Use two war paths, one plague of wrath, two shield of Galakron, one Zilliax. This guy is all anti aggro. He just needs to not hit Sign of Ruin with his Galakron. That's the only requirement. If he hits it, it's over. Ooh, relying on RNG to bail you out? Okay, this was really good luck. I had really bad luck, and now I have really good luck. I can recognize when I have... Oh, what? He actually has Sign of Ruin? Luckily, we got... Oh, God, he has Galakron in his hand still. Are you really not going to pop the shield? No, not. This is Galakron. If he top decks like, I don't know, another removal, it's, it's like be my guest. You're a god at top decking. He'll hero power play Galakron. He'll have a five attack weapon, and then he'll start playing Giganto minions. This Galakron. Draw four minions. Please. You can have a one mana Super Town Crier or an Armor Smith. Hopefully not. I'm trying to think what cheap minions they might have. Acolyte of Pain is not a good play here. Let the Oh my god, you actually played that cloud of pain. You are kind of crazy, huh? I wonder if it's worth it to try and make him overdraw here. Or kill him. Essentially, you want to split your options here, right? I mean, I can tap this three time, but. His big minion might just overwhelm me eventually. Is this lethal? 11. Hello? Hello? Is this lethal? Ele sorry, sorry, my math is bad. 10. Wait, this is exact lethal. It's not BM. I'm just bad at math. I'm just stupid. <laughs> I'm not being rude. I'm just dumb. Racism prevails. out.